All right, you guys, this is the third time I've tried. The first time I tried, my neighbors did something to piss me off. Second time, my neighbors did something to piss my dog off, so she would not stop barking. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Miss barks a lot. <sighs> okay, so third time's a charm. Hopefully, because one kid is out shopping with friends and the other kid was out clothes shopping and I told him to get Applebee's afterwards on me to keep him out longer so I could do this because I put off doing it for so long. <sighs> so hopefully I nail it this time. Okay, so the ears. <laughs> My daughter's friend sent her a joke box of Halloween costumes. Daisy. Daisy. One was a creeper head and one was these kitty cat ears with bells and bows. And it came with a choker slash collar. But when I wear that, I feel kind of like it's going for like sexy kitty. And I don't want to be a sexy animal. So I will not be wearing that for you guys. But I will keep the ears on. And there's no way I'm sneaking around anywhere. <laughs> oh, these are the... um. Can you see the earrings I got at the Psychic Fair, the Ocean Jasper? Oh, with the pretty yellow. Uh, Daisy. Uh, that was a slurp of disdain as I'm eyeballing my neighbors through my window. Anyways, okay, let's, let's see if I can make it past telling you about this project because I've told you about it three times now. You've only heard about it this one time. But for me, this is my third time talking about it. It is my ABC Dinosaur Sal from, okay, from, that was my son, um, from ABC Dinosaur Sal from Clouds Factory on 32 Count Lugana in Kiwi. It's gorgeous fabric that, of course, always gets blown out. I took a photo of this project at work the other day, and the fluorescent light got the color spot on. But in my lighting, it washes it all out. But all I got done was part of this Velociraptor. So I have to finish him, do another dinosaur, and some foil. Fo I can't. It's a hard word for me. Foliage? Fo foliage? Foliage. There we go. There it is so far. And then here it is. God, it's such a pretty green. I wish you guys could really see it. If anyone has this color and cotton fabric, you know it's a gorgeous green. I love these dinosaurs so much. This is one of my favorite sales I've done in a long time. And my other favorite sale I ever did was also a Clouds Factory. It was, probably can't see it right up there, the um, Zodiac one from a few years ago. Okay, I'm gonna put it away. <laughs> And see that if I don't have to talk about it again. Because if I had to start for a fourth time, I'm just not gonna. Neighbors. Slurp of disdain. They can't hear it, but it's good for my soul. I know I'm doing it. Okay. The next project was my Chatelaine. I got so sick of doing the tiny little fish that I branched out and did some more water because mama needed a break from the goddamn fish. <laughs> it is a huge piece of fabric. I know the Chatelaine is not going to be this big, you guys, but I'm the kind of person where I am so paranoid to have not enough fabric that I will use this big giant chunk until I feel like I've, I can cut the excess off. Like I have to get way more out to be positive that it will fit on there, even though I know it'll fit on there because again, it's a giant piece of fabric. But this is what it's supposed to look like or what it will look like at the end. It's the Chatelaine by, <laughs> Egypt Garden Mandala by Chatelaine. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, in that middle, those tiny little freaking fish in the middle. This is what I got sick of doing, so now I'm working on the dark blue water around it. And this is on 
32 count vintage country mocha lugana and I'm using the called for fancy flosses one of my few splurges on fancy flosses which I don't know why I did because those silks feel like any other silks I've ever used but whatever but yeah it's worked out so far I've worked on some more of this blue over here I mean it's beautiful that dark blue but some of that dark blue in there is just uh, DMC. It's a fucking little fish. Sorry. No, I'm not. <sighs> this is a project I try to work into every weekly for fandom stitching. That way it forces me to work on it because I was trying to get through those little fish. But this week I just can't bring myself to do it. I just, last week I worked on the blue. Um, for stitching with blue thread and this week I was going to work on the fish for one of the prompts but I just I can't work on those fishies I just my brain's like no don't do it Sarah and I said all right brain you're in charge and then I worked on um so for fandom stitching um one of the prompts for the month was to work on one project for 13 days which I'm going to do my pride piece because I uh, my whip goal for that for this month is 10 days so that makes sense and then another um prompt was 13 days of 13 different stitches so i didn't have 13 projects so i had to cast on a couple of new things so i cast one of the ones i cast on was something page 90 i mean i know it's called I'm just... riveting it is Quirky Quaker Jack-O-Lantern by Darling and Whimsy. He's so cute. And I'm using, it calls for Gentle Arts Bittersweet and DMC 310. I figure this is a good chance to use up some of my fancy stash. So I'm using M&M's, Almond M&M's Gears. And, oh, Jesus. <laughs> The Stitch Me Cauldron, which is all over the place. So this is the ones I'm using. Ugh, good lord. It's a hot mess. And the fabric is DMC, no, that's not a fabric, is a 32 count linen. It's actually the last linen I opened up in the Fangirl Fibers box. The really stiff stuff. I mean, look at that. I folded it and it's not coming unfolded. That's how stiff it is. But it, I figured once it's in the Q snap, I won't be able to tell how stiff it is. And it's actually turning out to not be that bad to stitch on. So I figured it'd be perfect for this little, little, it's a good neutral for the jack-o-lantern. But I literally only got that much of him done. Just like his nose and part of his mouth. I told you I touched a lot of things. I did not make a lot of progress. Because most of my stitches are 50 to 100 stitches for fandom stitching. But, I mean, I could whip that up so fast. I just now realize that there's a little bat. How cute is that? So, I'm looking forward to finishing him eventually. I mean, he's so cute. Now I'm going to fold it back up. It doesn't have a project bag yet, so I'm just, I keep it just, I have project bags. I just, when I was on a starting spree, I just shoved everything into, one, into my Linux stitch bag. Sorry. And then I started this one I'm super excited about. Oh, I'm super excited about this one because it's the one, the main project that's going to be housed in my Linux it Creates bag. So it's like a uh, super floss tubey uh, people I think are fabulous project. Linux it Creates bag. Fabulous. I'm working it on fabric from Kaylee Tent Stitch. Fabulous. The pattern is Hemlock and Rye from Kansas City Girl and Colorado World. Fabulous. <laughs> you get it. Um, there is no cover photo, and you can get this on her um, Gumroad. Is it Gumroad? And I think it's still free or make a donation, so I don't feel bad showing the pattern. But it's Luna, so it's skeleton hand and the moth. 
and I'm working this on Kaylee dyed fabric. I believe it's 25 count. I'm just doing um, one over one. Oh, you can't. I should have taken it out of the Q-snap so you can see how pretty this fabric is. Look at the way this little bone finger pops. Oh, God, I'm some, like, this is one of the projects that I'm most excited about. And I want to get back to you so bad. But I have other things to do, so I have to put it aside. Again, I have to focus on my Blacked Sky and my Pride for Whipco. So, I'm about to put this one away. I feel like I'm out of breath. Anyways, oh god, you guys, it's just it's a, it's a project that makes me so excited because that fabric. Oh, she, Kaylee is just a freaking dying genius. And then that pattern is so cute. I just love, oh my God. I'm just so happy with this project, you guys. I started off doing two over two and it looked giant and I did not like it. So I went to one over one and I, like, this is one of the easiest one over ones I've done. And my eyes don't strain at all on that fabric. And I hate stitching with white because my white stitches always look like hot garbage. But no, one over one white looks pretty decent so I'm happy with that and then another pro new project so that was new that was it was my last it's nope, not my last new project it's another new project and this is super cute this is Beagle by Maria Bravko cute patterns by Maria on Etsy it's on 32 count fiber on a whim in Cyprus and I'm using the DMC and oh, my needle minders all out of whack. I um, am changing the one beagle to look more like a noisy beagle over there who is barking up a storm. Okay, so anyways, here's the pattern. So it's actually pretty spot on because Daisy's darker because she's younger and Amber is lighter because she's an old fogey. And then on the back little legs back here, I put just a little bit of black because Amber is all red, red and white, hence the name. And Daisy is the tricolor beetle, so she has black on her. So that's all on her back and her tail, and you can't really see the back and the tail. So I decided to put just a little bit of black on the back legs so that I know it ain't Daisy. But, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I ran out of... I should bring over my giant stack of floss in the um, boxes and show you all my floss. Yes, somehow I still don't have the colors I need. So I ran out of colors for her face, but there she is so far. Look how cute. Look at her little back, look at, the, look at the black on the little back legs, just like my daisy girl. I'll show you. Hold on to your seats, don't get motion sick. Oh, there's my daisy and my amber. Oh, this is BB Girls. Okay, and there's my, there we go, okay. Hopefully, you just think it motion sick. But anyway, so that's my daisy. But again, I had to stop because I ran out of thread. But my kid who is out and about with friends is picking me up more thread from Joanne. So that is the great part about having teenagers who can drive. It's such a great benefit. <laughs> oh, I want to lose that needle. Okay. So put all this stuff back into here into my Lynn bag. Am I shaking my eyes? Okay. All right. So, next project is, I don't even know, you guys aren't going to be able to freaking tell I worked on it. It's my Nefertiri by uh, Hade. I only did, I think, like 100 stitches on it. So, it's Hade. It's on Easy Count Gray in 25 Count Lugana. And let me show you what she's going to look like. A gorgeous, beautiful woman. Oh, she hurts me. She's so pretty. And um, I started the very top middle up there and the, all that black. So I'm working on that black. So I'm, you know, I'm leaving the pattern on there because it's like 300 million page long pattern. So this is not going to give you any information on what to stitch. But I did literally this little 
section there. That's literally all I did. That was it. But hey, you know what? Progress is progress. I would like to spend more time on so many of these, but I have other things to do. I mean, these are rules. I can break them. I'll do my own stitching, but whatever. Anyways, using all the Colford um, DMC, obviously, and that pattern, the artwork is by Mandy Menzano. And she is gorgeous. Nefertiri, gorgeous. And then I worked on, this is the one I'm going to work on the rest of the month. It's something. Oh, you guys. My brain pretty much got wrecked by stopping a bunch. Move forward in love. I don't know why I'm saying it madly. By uh, Modern Folk Embroidery, and I'm doing it on 32 Count Lugana and Harvest Moon by Color and Cotton. I'm using the call for DMC, except for I think I made the yellow darker. I think I did. I think I made the yellow darker. Yeah. So this is the one I'm going to work on at least 100 stitches a day for the next 11 days. So I should make a good chunk of progress on it. There it is. So I fill, filled in the orange line and got started on the red. And can you guys see it? Okay, maybe it's my imagination, but no, it's right there. There's like a line on my fabric. I have no idea where it came from. Ah, you can't see it. No, right there, you see it? And I tried taking it out with a Tide pen. I have no idea what the hell that is. But you know what? The pattern's gonna go out around it. So hope, I mean, it's not full coverage or anything. So hopefully just be, it'll be enough for her. I don't notice it. Because at work, I asked everyone if they saw it. No one else saw it. But I can see it because I know where it's at. So hopefully when it's done, it won't bother me. I mean, I'll probably end up going to my kid anyways. But if I keep it and I look at it, I'll just try to ignore the line that I know is there. <laughs> you know how that goes. When you know something some, somewhere, you can always see it. Like, I, I know where all my mistakes are. And every time I look at anything here, I'm like, that's wrong. I know that part's wrong. If I sit and stare at them, I don't often just sit and stare at my stuff. Let's see. Still going. Black and Sky. Excuse me. By the Primitive Needle. It will look like this when it's done. This is a horrible, horrible picture. It's hard to get a good picture online. And you've all seen in the past what I do to my coffee, my um, working coffees. They're a hot garbage. I spill things on them, so it's not even worth showing you. And I also did not print out the um, photo, the front of this pattern. Anyways. So this is on 18 Count Ada by Bestitch Me. It's in an unknown gray. That's not it. Is this it? This is it. Okay. So I'm working on half a block for Whipgo, but then for a challenge in um, Phantom Stitching goes to work on like the letter eight. So I moved over a block and just did a bit of a, because one of the blocks has letters and numbers, so, which I don't usually like. I don't usually like letters and numbers and patterns, but it's such a big part of this pattern that I'm going to leave it in. But so... My goal is half that bot this block. So I do one more sign and fill that in. I'll get that done. But I moved over to the block block over so I can get that eight. This is also a giant piece of fabric, but again, I will not cut it because I'm afraid I will run out of room. <laughs> but those greens are fabulous. Like I said before, I do wish there was more contrast in the greens of those things. But oh well, you know what? Oh well. It's so pretty. I love this. You know, are there any projects I don't say that I love? It's, that's why I stitch them because I love them. Which is good. I'm not really slogging through anything. Now I'm on my Zelda wreath, which I'm doing as a Sal 
with Total Stitch, Total Stitch Show Steph. That's a tongue twister girl. And this one, I believe it's just plain old like khaki. Ada. Yeah, DMC 18 count. I keep wanting to call it Ada DMC. 18 count Ada and khaki using just the called for DMC. Oh, that project's gonna have dog hair on it now. So I've been using this one a lot for prompts on um, fandom stitching. So I'm popping 50 stitches in here and there. Try to show you guys what it's gonna look like, huh? And my wreath is gonna be very small because I did not think that through when I picked 18 count. <laughs> but that's what's gonna look like. Zelda in a Santa, nope, I do that every time. Link in a Santa suit and Zelda in a Miss Santa Claus suit. Everything is getting stuck on everything. Oh. So there's my Zelda so far. Plugging away. Trying to do a lot of the outside things so I can have just green to fill in when I'm mindlessly like watching TV or something. Or floss too. I watch a lot of floss too, you guys. I love it. My husband thinks it's adorable too, so he's gonna I'm doing it for him because he's a Zelda fan. He wanted it framed, but I think it's going to be small enough to where I can put it in a small hoop. I'm going to paint the hoop like green. You know, eventually. <laughs> It'll be hung up in like five Christmases from now. And then last but not least, I started this one for fandom stitching. Um, uh, like a smalls swap. I'm going to do two uh two cross stitches and then one felt ornament so oh god look at those neighbors i swear to god you guys they're not, they make me drink coffee angrily anyway so this one is called let me get the picture of it okay this is also a new buy so this is, this is haul as well but it is called Lil Sebastian by La Hoopla Co. on Etsy, Sarah Bridges. And it is just on some, uh, I believe it's 18 count. No, 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 no. 16 count. Uh, Mint Ada. I found them in my stash. So this is what it's going to look like. And if you don't know Lil Sebastian, he's from Parks and Recs. He's the pony everyone loves. Ben does not, uh, Ben Wyatt does not understand everyone's love of little Sebastian. And I'm hoping to get one of those little frames, like Walmart or something, when I'm done. But look at his hair, his little mane. I like, I picked this one over other patterns because I like that the mane was just actual thread. But anyways, so I started this last night, I think. And that's what I've got so far. So his nose, part of the banner. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get much done because I did not have the thread. Again, my child's picking it up for me. But yeah, this is just a small little piece of fabric too. So that's why I'm on using a little tiny, it's not tiny, a little hoop because I don't have the Q snap small enough. So yeah, there's my little Sebastian. Whew. You guys. Ooh, I'm tired. I don't know about you guys. Not an angry coffee break. All right, so I have one more finished object. And it's a good one, you guys. I don't know how I'm gonna show it because I don't have room to back up. A little bit of room. I finished my son's quilt. It is a little bit, oh, there's my ear. Ugh. From Quilty. This is October. So it's display until October 27, 2014. So it's 2014 Quilty Magazine, this one. I finished it. I have all my stuff, unless it's a small baby quilt, sometimes a lap quilt, anything smaller than a baby quilt, I will 
machine quilt, like straight lines. That's all I can do. I send everything out else out to Missouri Star, and um, I forgot how close it was to the holidays, so um, this will not be sent out to probably January to be finished. So my son's just gonna have to live with that. Here, he's fine. I'm sure he's fine with it. But um, I have something else saying I can't. But <sighs> I'll show you guys part of it. But I can't move back up anymore. <laughs> You can see like one square. <sighs> you know, if I rotate my camera facing my other wall and then stand up over there. Okay, again, hold on to your seats. Nope, hold on, don't get sick. Don't get sick, okay. Hi guys, oh, the light's all great. This is, look at that, yeah, I'm like, I know what I'm doing. I can YouTube. All right, so. Ugh. I'm not tall enough. Ugh. You guys see it? Ta da! <laughs> Quilt. Ugh. There we go. And now I'm gonna put it there. <laughs> and then we'll rotate you back around. We'll go together, like holding hands. Oh, and you jumped ahead of me. Oh, okay. That was a bunch of silly nonsense, and I apologize, but this is who I am. Okay, so that's all my projects. All right, just gonna, there we go. Gonna do, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm all out of whack. Okay, whew. dang it. Hi, you guys, thanks for putting up with me. You know, I really appreciate it, a lot. All right, so now we're gonna move on to, uh, I felt like a spooky voice. <sighs> Paul. All right. So I bought some patterns, little Sebastian. And then for um, the second ornament I'm gonna make for my partner is um, the Arwen necklace, the Even Star. So that, I'm gonna put it on 32 Count Linen by Jody called Evidence. It's from um, a Black Needle Society bag. But I think that blue is just really, really pretty. Oh, it's so washed out. You guys can't tell. You can't see a thing. It is a very, very pretty blue. There we go. That's kind of it. My face. Kind of. That's yeah, close enough. But I'm going to um, see how it's on white and they made it blue. In the movie, it's a silver necklace. You know, shiny silver necklace. So I'm gonna do it on the dark blue and use white de toile. Hate de toile, but it's not that big. So I can live. It's just the outline that's stitched. So, you know, it's not gonna, should be that bad. But so that's a future plan that I'm gonna start after I finish Little Sebastian. And then another pattern I got, is because I told you guys I watched a lot of floss here. So I just started watching Marumi Crafts on Floss Tube, lost my thought, and she designs patterns and she's doing this, um, let me bring up my computer so I can read it right, this Magical Carpet Menagerie. She's um, originally from Iran and so she is doing patterns, um, you know, based on her, uh, her homeland, her I can't do words. <laughs> Heritage. She's originally from Iran, so she's doing Iranian, Persian, Persian? Iranian. I sound very ignorant. I apologize. I can't think of the right words. Anyways, she's doing this magic carpet manager. I'll read you the, um, I'll show you what I got first. First, she has, um, a few out and I want a couple more but this one as soon as I saw on her floss tube I had to go home and get it it's the perky lion look at him I have to stitch him so badly and I love him on that fabric so I have to find an orgy fabric in my stash and knit him stitch him on that I love him so so much so so much look at his toothy smile 
<laughs> so it says, Perky Lion, part of the Magic Carpet Menagerie collection, was inspired by motifs found in Gabe. Gabe? I think it's Gabe. A hand knotted rug mainly made by nomadic people of Iran. Gabe is often knotted without pattern and inspired by individuals' everyday life experiences as well as their imagination. I've always been fascinated by the world, nope, by the weird and wonderful animated, oh my gosh, I can read. I've always been fascinated by the weird and wonderful animal motifs in Gabe and decided to share some of them with you as cross-stitch patterns in this collection. She has a lot of really neat ones. The camel I'd like to do, the dog I'd like to do. Oh, there's one more, but I can't remember what it is now. But this one was the one that really, I had to go get it. She's on Gumroad. So these are, um, you know, free for a limited time. And then she puts um, a price on them. So run out and get some because they're so cool. I definitely plan to buy more. But I'm going to stitch him up first because he's so fabulous. Oh, I love him. Okay. So then... Pattern, pattern, pattern. And then I got, because I couldn't stop myself, I got more fabric. This is a fabric camel, which I haven't even opened yet. It is the Crescent Panel by Sarah Watts of Ruby Star Society. I tell you guys, I'm a Ruby Star. Just, uh, but you're going to understand when you see it. First off, purple is my color, so yeah. Look at this panel. It's upside down. Look at this panel right side up. Look at that. Look at the sewing machine. Look at that pretty sewing machine. I don't know if I'll make these in quilts or a pillow or wall hangings. And then it's got like a little tag. Look at the octopus. Little key. Look at the owl. Look at the little bunny. And the bear, oh my god, you guys, the bear with the moon. I can't see it. Hopefully you can see him. And then, of course, a friggin' unicorn. So, yeah, I had to buy this fabric panel. And all those cute little things. Look at the little bear. What's that little bear thing? Oh, the little bear says you are loved. Little, like, fabric tags. It says you are loved. I don't know if you can see him. Look how cute these are. Gosh, that bear. What really got me was the bear, the owl, and the dog. Oh, I lied. And the sewing machine. But look at the doggy. Oh. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. I do feel like I need to make the sewing machine or something into like a mini quilt. Maybe the owl can be like a pillow. Figure something out. But man, I have no idea how to use fabric quilts, uh, fabric tags. I, like, I don't, I don't know what to do with those. I know they're I wanted to think they aren't their tags, but I've never used a fabric tag. But I had to have it, so I bought it. You know how it goes. Let's see. That's haul. Oh, nope, 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 I lied. The next week's worth of Fangirl Fibers Haunted America. So let's see, what day? Did we start with so I gotta put them in some sort of order. There's 14, 16, 12. This one's not oh I'm yelling at myself for getting stuff out of order. This is 18. Okay, so we'll go with 12. Day 12. Oh, I forgot about that pattern. It is a park hopper bart pattern called Bonaventure Cemetery. If I stitch it, honestly, I'll probably just stitch the top part there. Make it into like a, a pillow for my uh, dough bowl. Because I like that part. Maybe, just I don't need the nail the cemetery. Maybe that. No, just that part. I really like that part. Yeah, I stitched that part for sure. So I'll keep this. I will keep this pattern. I forgot all about it. Day 12, day 13 is the DMC for said pattern. Oh, 
day 14 is fabric which I, I just really wish like the models had similar colored fabric because I do like it on that like that greeny color but that's fine this fabric is a good neutral and if I'm just stitching that top I don't need the green I don't need it to be green but yeah it's another stiff neutral 32 count linen kind of no it isn't kind of it's a light gray so it's a good neutral And like I said, I'm stitching on some right now and it's not as bad as I anticipated. It's so see-through though. Like, holy crap, I can see. It's just so see-through. But, it's good to have a neutral hanging around. Day 15. Oh, yes, the needle minder. I think this is the best part of these boxes are her needle minders. I mean, look at her. She's a little skeleton. Is she stitching? No, she's not stitching. She's watering plants. I don't know why I yelled that. Look at her taking care of plants. No, it's not gonna focus. Why do I even try, you guys? But look at her. Look at her blurry butt. Yeah, that's the best part of the um, bo box so far is her needle minders. I love them. So that's 15. And then some day. Oh, did I skip a day? Nope. 16. Oh, yeah. So I'm saving that for my son. He'll like that. Vanilla corn. Candy corn. I like that. Maybe I'll like it. Nope. My son will love it. It's not awful. It's very strong vanilla, which is good. Like, like, like I said, my son's going to love that. So day 17, more floss drop. Whoever wins the floss drops this week will probably get the, well, probably, they will get these added to the floss drops that they're winning. I mean, they're pretty. I just don't use floss drops. Sparkly, shimmery white, sparkly black. Cute little spider webs. So those will go in with the other floss drops for the winter. And then day 18 is Oxford Saloon, Snohomish, Washington. I will not stitch this. I don't like stitching buildings. Hey, do you guys want... I don't want to keep it around. So if you want the Oxford Saloon by Cobweb and Rose, say saloon and you can have it. I'll even include the little card that gives information about that bit of Haunted America. And I'll put it over here so I don't forget that someone can have it. All right, so we're coming to the end. This is where I announce giveaway winners. All right, so. so. Floss drops that I showed you before, plus this week. So now there's three, six, nine all together. Uh -huh. Halloween floss drops. The winner is Arbitrary Hobbyist Shelly. So Shelly, you can DM me on Instagram or message me on, send me an email at I swear I am stitching at gmail.com with your address and I'll have it mailed out as soon as I can. Probably not till next Monday. Okay, so there's that. And then the Halloween patterns. That goes to Catherine Ryan. Catherine, send me your information. The cabinet pattern. Which I should have kept the card with its information to send to the person too. Sorry. Cabinet pattern goes to Book and the Moon. I just love her name so much. I'm assuming you're her. I apologize. Your. I love your name so much. And then the project tracker goes to Rhonda Wise. So congratulations, guys. Thanks for um, everyone who left a comment. And um, everyone who won, send me your deets. Send me your details. 
Um, again, if anyone wants the um, Oxford Saloon pattern, B18, please, so I'm not a creeper. Uh, get in your address. Uh, I don't care where you live because it's not going to be very expensive to send. It's just paper. Um, don't say giveaway, all that stuff. Trolls, I guess. <laughs> I guess. No, because, you know, some people just are out there for free crap. It's me. I'm out there for free crap. You guys, I love free stuff so much. But anyways, um, thanks for stopping by. If you're a first time viewer, thanks for giving me a shot. I appreciate it. If you come back week after week, I extra super duper appreciate it. Thank you guys. And I will talk to you next week. Bye.